What we eat has a dramatic effect on how we feel, and importantly for a cyclist, how we perform on the bike. Get the nutrition right, and turning those pedals becomes, well, a whole lot easier. We discovered this when filming with Alan Murchison, the cycling chef, who gave us a brilliant insight on how to feel well whilst being able to eat incredibly tasty food at the same time. And that film is over on GCN+. But in the meantime, Cycling nutrition, it doesn't have to cost the earth. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some brilliant budget recipes to keep you flying on the bike. So let's cook. For this video, I've picked out some recipes from our brand new book here at GCN, The Cyclist Cookbook, written by world tour nutritionist, Nigel Mitchell. I've picked out some budget recipes, some really tasty ones too. So let's get started with the first one, which is gonna be rice cakes. If you're a cyclist, then you've probably heard of rice cakes. They are the best and a pro cyclist staple. They are so good and so easy to make. And the rice in the rice cakes is really digestible. So it's really good for the stomach when you're on your bike. And there's actually a high proportion of water in the rice cake. So it is gonna contribute a little bit to keeping you hydrated. So the ingredients you're gonna need are sugar, coconut oil, Pudding rice, this is quite important because pudding rice is a lot stickier than normal rice, so it's gonna help keep them together. Philadelphia or any cream cheese, Oreos and water. So I'm using Oreos because they're my favorite. You could have the rice cakes plain, you could put nuts in them, Nutella, any sort of nut spread, ham and cheese even, but well, Oreos are the best. So I'm gonna be using those. So I can't actually cook rice to save my life. So. I'm gonna be using a rice cooker, which makes things a whole lot easier for me. But you don't have to, you could do this just in a normal pan on the stove. So really simple, you wanna put everything into the slow cooker, bar the cream cheese and the Oreos if you're using Oreos. So you wanna put 500 grams of the pudding rice, five grams of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and a liter of water. So give it a quick stir, mix everything together, pop the lid down, turn it on and let it do its thing. If you are using a saucepan on the stove, then you just wanna follow the instructions on the rice packet and cook for however long it recommends on there. And we'll come back to that in a bit. Next up, a very simple, effective and cost-effective jam peanut butter panini. Now, this is great because you get carbs, protein, and fat all in one bite. And I'm sure many of you already have jam and peanut butter in your cupboards already. Now you don't have to use peanut butter. You can use any sort of nut butter, but I'm using crunchy, has to be crunchy, peanut butter in mine. And you can use pitters, you can use just normal bread, wraps, anything you've got in your cupboards basically. So I'm not really sure this needs me to explain how to put this all together. So let's fast forward this bit. There we have it, a delicious jam and peanut butter panini. Now you could just pop that in your back pocket, but you might struggle to eat it. So I'm gonna cut it into four bite-sized pieces that are gonna be easy to eat on the bike. And in an ideal world, you would have foil backed with parchment baking paper, but my local supermarket didn't have any, so I'm gonna use foil, which is gonna work just as well. So there you have it, all wrapped up, ready for your next ride. You really don't need to overcomplicate ride food. It can be as easy as jam, nut butter, and a panini. And these actually come in at 8.7 pence per serving, or 35p for one panini, jam, and the peanut butter, which really isn't bad at all. Next up, we've got the gravel mix. And this is great for you adventure and gravel riders that spend literally all day on the bike. And this is essentially a mix of lots of different ingredients, sweet and salty, that you can graze at throughout the day. And it's got slow release and quick release energy. And it also, because of lo the lots of different flavors in this, it's really good for flavor fatigue, which you can get on the bike if you end up eating the same thing throughout the day. But this really mixes it up and you kind of wanna keep eating it. So let's get into it. Okay, so for this, you're gonna need 100 grams of salted nuts. It can be a mixture of different nuts, pistachios. I've gone for cashew nuts. You want 
50 grams of sultanas, 50 grams of sunflower seeds, and 50 grams of anything a little bit chocolatey. I've gone for M&Ms because they're my favorite. Now you're probably thinking, well, yeah, yeah, that looks, that looks all right, Manon, but how are you gonna eat that on the bike? Well, you're gonna need a reusable Ziploc bag like this one, and we're gonna pour it all into the bag, and then for you adventure gravel riders that have bar bags or top tube bags, you're gonna pop it in there, and then you'll have it open, and then you just take handfuls at a time, you get a nice mix of sweet and savory flavors on the bike, kind of how you get in the cinema. And this comes in at just over two pounds for eight servings. And I think if my maths is correct, it works out at 29 pence per serving, which I mean, again, isn't that bad at all for quite a nice mix of flavors. long day on the bike and you come home and you're so hungry you could literally eat the fridge door off. You want something that's faff free, quick and cheap. So let's look to the cupboards and 90% of the time you're going to have a tin of beans, go to, some tuna and you're going to have some sort of carbs. It could be pita bread, normal bread, but pita breads are great because you can pop them in the freezer and then just grab one, put them in the toaster and defrost them when you want them. Um, put those all together. There you have a nice, quick, easy post-ride meal. And you could even spice it up with some pickled onions on top, some capers, some salt pepper, some cheese if you want. You could toast the cheese. Oh, perfect post-ride meal. And we all know protein is important to help your body recover after intense exercise. And we're getting a double whammy of protein with the beans and the tuna. So it's a win-win. Okay, our rice is now cooked. Looking delicious. Now, that's all that's left to do is add 300 grams of the cream cheese and your topping of choice. And mine's gonna be Oreo. So I'm gonna crush these up, whack it in, give it a big mix. Okay, once you've mixed it all together and it smells, delicious. You need to do a taste test. This is very important. So, mm. it's so good. I can't do it. Can't keep serious. Okay. So good. Right. Enough of that. Right. Next up, get your Ziploc bag, pour very tidily the mixture into the Ziploc bag until it is very, very full and then zip it up. Then you want to pop it in the fridge overnight until it sets. Once your rice cakes have been in the fridge overnight, you want to take them out, take them out the, the bag and then cut them into bite-sized pieces and wrap them up in your foil or parchment paper and so you can easily open them on the bike as well. And these actually come in at a price of 23 pence per serving. And I mean, it's rice cakes, is definitely one of my favorite. And they are great because you can mix them up with lots of different flavors as well. But drinks wise on the bike, definitely the best bang for your buck is gonna be the energy drink. There's 25 grams of carbs per serving in this and you're staying hydrated as well. So if you are on a budget, but you still want to buy some specific cycling energy food, then this is definitely gonna be it. But there are some of my favorite cheap and cheerful on the bike ride food. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite cheap and cheerful on the bike snack is. And if you want to find out a load more cycling recipes, then make sure sure to check out the GCN cookbook on the GCN shop and that is actually a Welsh cake recipe in here so uh, you might want to check that out.